So today is the day. It's time for us to announce the winners of the MatchFit contest. Uh, yesterday I sat down with Henry Wang and Ralph Bagnall, the other two judges, to review the submissions and pick us some winners. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Winner number one in the jig category. Um, yeah, I love the ukulele jig. Huh? Yeah, the ukulele jig I thought was cool just because of how he was able to modify the, the hardware and extend them to, I mean, if you get a threaded rod, he can make the, you know, the hardware as long as he wants it to. Yeah, and, and it's a very practical jig. It's adjustable for different sizes of instruments. It uses the clamps and the hardware. I just think it's terrific. Well, I do have that, you know, on my drill press that I have at my home. I do have the 45 degree dovetail channel. It's just like what he did on there. Uh, which I think is great. Winner number two in the jig category. Another one that I, I thought was pretty cool was the, um, the zero clearance miter fence. Or miter oh, yeah, fence. yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, I thought that one was really cool. His is clever because, because of the way the, the hardware works, it is much easier to adjust for angle cuts of all kinds without, you know, chopping up. Usually what we used to do is just build a, a quick L-shaped piece, double face tape it onto the miter saw, and then when I got chewed up from doing too many angle cuts or different angles, then we just rip it off and replace it. This is actually a built-in system that can, um, you know, be adjusted so that you never really cut into the fence at all, which is pretty cool. I think it's probably the most useful. Winner number three in the jig category. And then Windy Pine is one of the other ones I liked quite a lot. I just like his cross-shaped holding feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that one too. I like that he shows that it can be used for odd shapes as well as for right-angled corners. So I just think that particular piece of his setup is very, very clever. Yeah, I, I think, Morgan, you have a similar things, right, that you make in the shop? Yeah, so I have one. In, it's like a U shape. Yeah, it almost looks like a horseshoe. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, I've seen um, that. It's still got the two points of contact, but it's um, you can twist it in the because it's slotted there in the center. Um, depending on where you place the hardware, you can twist it and it becomes a cam clamp as well. So you can twist it and it'll push yep. horizontally. Um, but this, I mean, this is a this is a great design because mine doesn't have a, a ninety degree inside corner. Winner number one in the shop category. I think, a, I mean, obviously a clear, a clear winner is Roel, who used, I mean, he, he tied into the, his ceiling joists. Yeah. To, and I, I, it's madness. And, and, you know, his clamping thing is, is clever as heck. And yeah. as, uh, again, very good spatial awareness and spatial thought. The uh, you know whether or not it's it's practical in 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 you know the average shop is questionable. <laughs> My ceilings are you know 16 feet high. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But for, uh, but, it's, but for his shop and and you know his. Oh no, I think it I I think it has enough interest that it should be one of our winners. No question. Oh yeah, obviously. Winner number two in the shop category. The next will be the Bob Gardner. I really like Bob Gardner's. I mean, you can just tell from, from the video that he submitted how much match fit fixtures he has in his shop. I mean, it's just, there's a lot in there. He's got, you know, like three different workbenches, there's grooves on, on everything. And then he's got, you know, his sleds. And I thought he really had some interesting, um, a homemade track saw thing too. I thought that was an interesting track saw design. Winner number three in the shop category. The next shop submission, I would say, definitely gets my vote is the Chappie G. Shop. I agree. Um, he's the way he integrated his tools into that. It's a pretty massive setup, and it, it reminds me of the the thing that I made at home here. Some of his sleds and stuff have multiple uses. I love the fence extension, the way that he put dovetails on that and made his, his fence like a eight foot capacity or something like that on a stable saw. Yeah, 
that one I thought was really impressive. And that's it. Those are your winners. Congratulations, guys. Um, it was difficult for us to narrow it down to just three winners for each category. There were so many really good submissions. And we're just, again, really thrilled at uh, how many people participated and got into this and submitted their projects. I know that it takes a lot of hard work, and so we really appreciate uh, all that you guys do. So congratulations again, guys. We will be reaching out to you soon to get your shipping information and all that. And um, that's it. Go make some sawdust.